This is our tutorial for our feeling phony arrangement and I'm going to show you today how you can create this beautiful arrangement yourself um, with the collection of stems that you will receive in your pack. This is the um, beautiful fern spray that we have. I'm starting with this because it's a really great basis for so many bouquets and the stems are wired so I really encourage you to open out these stems and enable them to take up a lot of space and really um, add a lot of impact to your bouquet. So it's a really great start and I'm just positioning them off to the, the right hand side of the vase there as, as I look at it. Um, the next piece I want to include is the eucalyptus. So I've got this beautiful tall eucalyptus. Um, one of the things that really brings our bouquets to life is having the same pieces at different heights. So like you can see there that I've cut them just very slightly differently so that they look a little bit more natural. I think one of the giveaways of faux flowers is when all of the stems are the same height. Your pack, when you purchase Feeling Fernie, will come with those stems pre-cut for you um, so that you can place them the way that we have. I want to show you here as well how with this piece I've really selected for that longer stem to be the one that reaches out. You could have that differently if you didn't want your arrangement to take up quite so much space. Next is a different kind of eucalyptus. It's the willow eucalyptus. Let me show you both together. So here I've just tweaked them into slightly different shapes. Again, to give that real air of, of natural and organic so this I want to, again, fall out to the side here, and this piece is going to come on this side where it will stand a little bit more upright um, against this lovely basis that we've made. I think you're starting to get the idea that these key stems are coming in two, so I do think of them as the Noah's Ark bouquets, as the stems come in two by two. And again, we've, we've, we've really made that organic and natural by cutting these pieces to different heights. And again, similarly, one is a little bit curved off to the side, and the second piece is going to stand up a little bit more to, to this side, and we're starting to form this really beautiful and asymmetric shape. Now for some sort of key hero pieces. This is our Canterbury Bell. I want this piece to really fall over the side of the arrangement so that you can see those bells. So I'll just take a second to really put that into the position that I want. If I turn this around and show you how we can see that now falling over the side. I'm going to put the Hypericum berry here, just slightly off centre, right in the middle there, and then I'm going to get to the two green hydrangeas. This is quite a new piece in our range, and I think it's lovely for autumn because it's got a very uh, muted tone to the green. And if I compare again these two side by side, you should be able to see that this one I've bent the head down a little bit more so that they've both got a slightly different shape to them. And it's these little things that will really make your arrangement look natural and organic and really give you all that beauty of faux flowers but whilst looking like they are fresh. I should just mention the vase. This vase is around 35 centimetres tall. It's our cream bubble vase which you can find on the website. But if you purchase this arrangement and you want to have advice on any other bars that this might be suitable for, please do just get in touch on our, with our customer services team on the website. Um, so let me just stand this up for you here. This is a forward-facing bouquet, so it's flat to me at the back, and this is how it looks when we've finished it.